Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. I mean, we, hey, said, back again. we said that we would see you next Tuesday, and here it is next Tuesday. Uh, we're seeing you. Promises fulfilled. Um, but no, this is this is Black Remnant in a in a slightly new configuration. Oh, yeah, we're across the table. Kiko oh, out. Okay. Um, but we have done a couple role playing games on this very channel that mm -hmm. were just the two of us before. Oh yeah, um, we did that one. The Cthulhu Confidential. Remember that Cthulhu one? Cthulhu Confidential was wild stuff. But yeah, but I'm I'm, I'm ready to. So do your worst. I mean, I'm I'm no. ready to I'm ready to I'm ready to see well, what you I have think, in store. I think we do a recap of the last episode, right? You were have to. You were um, you just finished the battle, um, and it was the longest battle. I mean, it was the longest battle, the most serious, I think, interdiction mm -hmm. that the young mercenary company Black Remnant has been a part of. Right. It took an entire episode and some. Yeah. Like it was a multi-hour, right? Uh, Knockdown, drag out fest. And Kenji, your, Kenji your, delivered. Your boy well, yeah, came I mean, out unscathed. Uh, yeah, in exactly. this battle. Yeah, exactly. Which is why we called the episode Kenji Do or yeah. the Way of the Kenji. Right. Um, but but no no. Obviously, he acquitted himself well, which is good. Like after after all the the trash talk. To know that he can actually like back it up, and that this is all coming from someplace. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that matters to me right. certainly. And the what happened? Something crucial happened. Yeah, Zizi had her first battle. Well, and she came out she, before. Yeah, she came out earlier than I said that she should. So obviously, when we return to the full game with Kiko, we're going to have to cover that. Um, we're we're going to have to cover that. That dereliction, right? For sure, because it's it's one thing for her to come down there, and it's even one thing for me to bend the rules, especially as relates to her dad. But it's not; it's only going to work if the it's only going to work if there is a chain of command, right? Mm -hmm. Like if if, if I'm gonna if 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 it's all going to fall to me, I need the orders to be followed, right? <laughs> yeah, and but what, but what was remarkable was when she did come out of the calypso. She dropped down right on top of a of a, of I think a was, whole of, of I think it was the wasp. I think it was it? the or, wasp. No, fire moth. A fire moth. Oh, yeah, it was the, it was the small one that was running yeah. around. Yeah, and crushed it right under her foot, right. doing critical damage and and having it explode. Right, and so no no survivors. No survivors. No ejection of yeah. this cockpit. Yeah, um, and as you, after the battle, you were able, you know, everyone got back into the city proper. Or the village proper, mm -hmm. and you drove your mongrel, and Zizi drove her Nova uh, back into the Calypso along with Roshan, uh, bringing uh, well, basically just put it, put it, putting all of our putting all of our uh, battle mechs to bed, right. basically. But as you as you get out of your cockpit, you um, and start to uh, walk down uh, the the ladder to the the floor. You can see um, Zizi just sitting uh, on top oh, of, just, just of, like, her, of her cockpit, outside just of legs, the cockpit, like just, just sitting, legs out. Yeah, hanging over and just kind of. You, you you notice that her whole body is down and dejected and just you you you've never seen her in this no uh, her, kind of her whole look. Her whole thing is is the opposite of that, right? Right, like she almost certainly doesn't want to be seen like this. No, herself. But she, but she is visibly on just sitting on her mech and not moving and curled up. Um, but as as you as your foot plants onto the ladder, no, rung. onto the ground, yeah. and you sort of release your hands off of the rungs of the ladder, and you look up at her. You, Everything kind of goes fades a little bit to gray, and you are you just remember that a, a, a moment in time where you were on the bridge of the Odysseus, which was oh, your father's, my father's ship. ship. Yeah, yeah, um, the flagship of the of Othos eighty eight. Right, and around the uh, command center, you're looking at. A uh, area on a on a planet the, that the uh, 
Odysseus is orbiting. And you see a battle uh, layout of a oh. down ship and it looks like it crashed through a village and into some buildings. And around you, you see your uncle Logan, your mother Hannah, mm -hmm. your, and uh, your father Stavros. And they are discussing the plans for the mission that's ahead of them. Now, is it, is it common? I mean, I basically, I live on the ship with my family. Mm -hmm. It's a family business. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it common for me to be in these, to be in these meetings? It Am I considered underfoot? Or do I just kind of stay out of the way? For the past uh, six months, you have been led into these meetings. For you're, you're at, I mean, this was when you were 15 years old. Yeah. Um, but you have been let in under, basically by your father's side to kind of learn, and he talked to you about this, learning yeah. how to develop missions. How it works. How to, um, how you should be planning uh, to take care of uh, the job that's before you. Okay, cool. Um, but it, 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 so I mean, I have to, but, I have to be, yeah, I, I just have to be young Stavros here. Yeah, and he, and he told you this was the first time he's going to let you go downside. Did I? I don't. I don't want that. But I can't tell him that. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? I have the opposite problem to ZZ. I don't actually want to do it. Like I, I the the simulator is just fine for me. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I know my way around it, and it's like the oldest. It's the oldest mech we've got, mm -hmm. but it's it's sturdy. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. But but no, I that's I don't think that I actually want that. Okay. I don't think that I actually want to do that. But there's no universe in which I I make that known. Um. So as they, as you're standing by your father's side, um, he's uh, discussing. He doesn't think this this mission is a smash and grab. Oh, so it's not so. It isn't supposed to be pretty. No, he wants you to. He, it's just go in, get the surplus out of the downed uh, freighter, and get off planet. Right now, surveillance uh, and recon is only showing two mechs in the area, and it's no nothing too difficult. Do we have designations on the no, mechs that are down there? They're just, we, we just know they have a couple. Yep. And uh, Stavros Stavr looks up. He says, this is going to be simple, easy. Let's just walk in and uh, take what we need. I see no problem. This is going to be his first mission. He's going to be fine. Okay, here. So I want, I want to look at it just because I'm Stavron. I want to look at the plan. Can I make a leadership check? Mm -hmm. And get a sense of, like, get a sense of this field and this plan that he's put together. Absolutely. And just, just like, just pipe in, yeah. basically. Yeah. Here. So uh, that's a four plus nine for okay. 13. So you see, uh, when, as you analyze, after spending six months at your father's side analyzing right. hollow maps, um, you see several um, points of ingress of where you could tactically make a better choice than just, just walking in. straight into, into, the, into this village or city. Uh, on the left and right are mountainsides. Oh, so it's a valley. It is a valley, um, and, and the freighter crashed into it. Now, on the left and right, you have uh, two mountain ridges that could easily be, and on the uh, eastern border, there is a tree line um, so you could easily um, come through the tree line on the left. Sneak in. Or you could make a beeline down the road uh, that leads up the mountain mountain ridge. Um, that would make uh, crossing a little, getting down into the village a little easier. And from behind. Because you you have seen that the uh, two mechs, there's a, a the wasp patrol. and a locust. Yeah. They, they're small little patrol mechs. Yeah. They're mostly scanning out in the in the front area where your father just where Stavros just wants to go in, oh, take him out he's, and get in. From his perspective, it's he wants to he wants to shock drop, yep, basically, yeah. and and just stun them, mm -hmm. get the stuff and get out. Right. But I'm seeing some other, I'm seeing a couple other opportunities. You're seeing better tactical advantages to. Um, 
to uh, how how you could uh, ingress. Yeah, get yeah, in and so, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say as much. I say I'm probably crazy, and if I'm crazy, it's because I learned it from you, Dad. And I'm gonna hey hey. <laughs> Who's the commander of this ship? There's a chain of command here. Did I ask you to speak during my briefing? I'm taking you on this mission. Yes, sir. And then I'm going to throw a chip in. Yeah. <laughs> here are your I, chips. I, I, just say, I just say, yes, sir. <laughs> At this point, your uncle Logan comes up by your side. And he looks at Stavros says, hey, you've been teaching him. You have been having him in these meetings for six months. Give the kid a shot. I, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to see what happens between these two. And your Uncle Logan puts your hand, his hand on your shoulder. Speak, kid. And, you're, and Stavros just looks. Really? Does he, does he look? Do I get the sense that it's good to do? <laughs> Do I get the sense that it's good to no, uh, but, come in here? But the f firm it's hand, pretty firm. The firm hand yeah. on the back of your shoulder uh, from your Uncle Logan. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It, it kind of, it, it's a little bit of a goad. So I'm going to, I'm just going to come over to the hollow map and I say, I, I only know what I know because I've seen you two do it. And... I'm just going to indicate these other points of ingress. Here, this one's through the woods. This one's coming down off of this other side. And it's like, I, you know, I, I'm just trying to learn. You, you tell me if I've, if I've learned this right. Okay, so you mapped out some other ways we could go in. Which, where should we come in from? It's, it's, well, and then I like this one that comes down through the woods. Where Why? There's... We come down there, they don't know we're there until it's too late. But there's only two of them. You know, we can't take this? There's only two that we know. There's only two that we know. How long have I been doing this? A thousand years. Yeah. That's what you said. You said it's been a thousand years. Yep. All right. Well. But tell me more. I'm going to listen. Okay. Well, if they are lights, like we think, we come down here, it's one or two shots a piece. If there are more, we manage them with ease, get what we need, and then we escape through the same cover. I just, you know, I think it's in the blood, Uncle Logan. I think it's, I think it's Otho blood, and I think that it's my birthright to come up with great plans on this hollow map. And Logan just pushes you a little, keeps your back steady as you're saying this, <laughs> um, and upright in front of your father. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a lot to do. And you see Stavros just kind of lean back a little and kind of rub his beard. What is my mom doing? She's actually just watching. She's just absorbing? Yeah. And then after a couple seconds, your father puts, oh. his, puts his hand around no. your shoulders. Uh. It's like, that's my boy. Uh. Don't let anybody tell you what to do. If you have a better plan, you always say it. Oh, God, I was worried. I was worried. I thought it was coming. I can feel it in my, I can feel it in like my scalp IRL, like my real scalp. And what do you do? Uh, well, I'm just going to... This this line here, this track, this movement going down in. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna try to put this out in the mechs as a possible mm -hmm. option, just as a as a as a set of waypoints, just so that just so that we're ready and, and and leave the other one in. But we have we'll have a couple different options of of uh, uh, of approach. Okay. And uh, your uncle Logan. Uh, he grabs you. He says, "Good, good oh, job, man." Fighting over me, and he's like, "Come on, let's go have one uh, your your first drink." I'm, I'm 15. Don't worry about it. Come with me. I can't 
I'm not gonna wait. There's gonna be like space, the space police. They're gonna yeah. know. They're gonna know as soon as as soon as I lift the cup. They're gonna know that that I've been drinking underage. And he just make me a strength check. Okay. Uh, here we go. Oh God, trash. <laughs> Five. He he just takes it, takes you, oh. and just brings you out <laughs> out of the bridge, and leaves your father and your mother said, to talk. Said, no, mom, he's gonna mom, he's gonna make me drink. He's gonna make me drink alcohol. I'm sure you'll be okay, son. It's I'm only fifteen. And after you get out of the bridge, the doors close, and Logan says, "Are you okay?" Yeah, of course I'm okay. Good job in there, but well. do you want to go down? You don't have to. No, not even a little bit. Okay. Not a little, I don't want to do it at all. Have you talked you, to your father you, about this? No, because yeah. that would be the, that would not, I feel like that would not be a tactical decision, Uncle Logan. He was nice about the plan. If I say, hey dad, uh, maybe the mercenary, maybe the life of a interstellar mercenary isn't for me, I feel like that's going to be a much longer conversation. You see what I mean? All right. Well, don't worry. You're going to be fine. You got me, your mother, your father. Okay, uh, I was thinking that I was going to be fine because I, I wouldn't have to go down. Well. That would be, I consider that the optimal, the optimal play. I'll see what I can do. Please do. And th- your memory kind of fades out, and no, fades no, back no in. doubt because of the underage drinking. There was no drinking. Oh. He, he didn't actually. Oh, he didn't actually push it on me. No, it wasn't. He didn't. He didn't <laughs> want to get you a drink. He just wanted to make oh, sure you're okay. He he was being um, he was being tactical in his own way. Yeah. And as your memory fades back in, it's uh, you crossing. Uh, past your father's quarters and the doors are open and Logan is in there with Stavros and you can hear them arguing. So I'm I'm just going to stop in the hall. No. And you hear out of Logan's mouth, he says, the kid doesn't want to go down. And they just, they're arguing back and forth. And your father just says, he has to drop down sometime. At least he's surrounded by his family. Isn't that the point? And make me a reflex. Yeah, I got it right here. Unless you have some kind of sneak ability. I don't. I was hoping that I did. Um, this right here is just going to be ten. Okay, you remain. Actually, you can 11, remain outside the 11. door. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, in fact, I'm just going to creep a little closer and see if see what else I can hear. Okay. Um, at this point, I'll let you take the role of Logan defending you. Okay. And telling him, telling Stavros he doesn't have to go down. There. If you could go back and make all these choices again, would you be Stavros Otho? Yes. What kind of silly question is that, Logan? Have we not profited? Do we not have almost a monopoly on the on the over every other mercenary? We have made in the spheres plenty of money, Stavros. Yeah, and I need him to be able to inherit that empire. He needs to be ready. Do you think letting him sit in his room and look at charts all day is going to help? It's a family business, Stavros. We need people to look at the charts, too. Yeah, but not when you, that's not all you need to do when you're running the business. I think that you haven't thought about this very hard. And I think it's because you don't want to think about it. I think you're committed to a course of action. You're just like our fucking dad. Yeah, maybe I am. I think that you committed to this. And maybe and think, if you were more like him, you wouldn't be dead right now.
I think I've said my piece. He's going downside. That's the end of it. Well, maybe he can say hi to dad for us. And then Logan will just leave. Okay. And the scene, and do you, what, back as Stavern. Yeah, yeah, now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk by. Like, so Logan is gonna come out and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna start moving and I'm gonna bump into him. Just, just to give the impression. Mm. Oh, kid, I, you okay? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You're gonna get through this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna talk to my dad for a second. All right. So I'm gonna go in to, I'm gonna go into the, the commander's quarters basically. Um, and just like, in, in the way that I picture it is that he's got like, like my parents have their bunk, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But he, but this is a little bit more stately than most of the quarters, and the Odysseus is a big ship. It, it is a conquistador drop ship. Yeah, it's it's a it's not like the. No, it's not like. It isn't the like the Calypso. This is mammoth. This is a beast. Mm -hmm. And so its commander's quarter is a little bit more stately. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna have it's gonna have like the, you know, under, under the. Uh, Edge like LEDs around, and it's gonna it's gonna have like a, a nice desk. It's like modern materials. It isn't like a wooden desk or anything like that. But but it has it has this, it has this light mm -hmm. on it, and their bed is over here, and the computer is here. And I'm just gonna sit at the desk. Uh, just gonna sit at the desk chair and turn it towards Stavros. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna say, I have been thinking about going downside. Yeah. And I don't know how you do it every time. You do I. You think it's easy every time? No, I think it's impossible every time. I can't imagine doing it once. It gets easier with time, but... Listen, this is the life we lead. So... It is... Do you have a... Do you have a ritual? Like, do you... Do you knock on each of the screens? Like... <laughs> what's, like, when you... When you get in there... What do you do that's brought you back all these times? I think of your mother. I think of you. I think of everybody that's important to me and that relies on me. And that's what gets me through the night. Okay. I don't need a magic rabbit's foot. I don't need anything else other than knowing who I'm fighting for. All you need to do is figure out who you're fighting for. I'm just gonna stand up and go over, give him a hug on the bed. Um, and then I, I think that I probably have to, I think I probably have to be in the simulator like, I, I think I probably, but it's like I'm not simulating even the battle part. I'm just simulating the drop. Mm -hmm. I'm just simulating, like, getting at it. Like, the part that I'm simulating is the part that I'm the most scared of, which is the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Like, I know how to drive it, and I, I, know, how to, I know how to put ordnance downrange, um, and I know how all the systems work, because I've worked on them and fixed them and used them. But... I'm just doing the very first part. I'm just seeing it over and over again, like seeing the doors open, right? Like, hear, like hearing the coup of the systems, like as, as, as they all warm up. Like I'm just like to the point of like insensitivity, <laughs> just all the most basic stuff. And then I just restart the simulator. Mm -hmm. As soon as the doors are open, I restart the simulator. And I just go through and yeah. just make sure, like, like 
hitting everything. Everything's going in. Like, like, like bringing up every screen, checking everything, checking the radio, door is open, restart. Yeah. Just, just tuning my, just tuning myself up. Like when it happens, I want nothing about it to be a surprise, basically. Mm -hmm. And as you're, as you're in the simulator, you just hear like a wrench knocking on the, on the door of the simulator. Like just. It's like, ugh. So I lift up the, lift up the helmet. And you just see uh, Zigzag like waving at you. But she's, she's tiny. Oh, she's, yeah, she's a fucking toddler. Yeah. She's like a baby. Yeah. And she just looks up. And you see her, but she has wrenches in her hands. And she's like, looking up. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll reach out and I'll get her. I'll scoop her up. And I'm just going to put her in my lap inside the, mm -hmm. inside the simulator. I'll bring the neural helmet down, but I'm just going to have her in my lap mm -hmm. um, when she's here. And it's going to be like, it's going to be like trying to do anything, any kind of driving with a kid around. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like she's gonna be reaching out for stuff, mm -hmm. and I'm just learning to be. I'm just learning to be fine with it. Like this is a, this is like an amount of chaos <laughs> that I can add to this system and control it. Yeah, uh, but what's as you're as you're driving through and jump doing the jumps, um, you can feel Zizi kind of with her wrenches just tinkering around yeah. and <laughs> just playing on <clears throat> playing around. But you notice that. The steering in the simulator is getting better as well, it's, you, it's like tightened up. Yeah, it's getting tightened up, and as you, as you're doing so. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I give it a big yeah. just tussle that tussle that red hair, absolutely. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm going to be in there until she falls asleep. Hmm. I think, and it doesn't take long because it's 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 nighttime it's and too she's late. yeah, it's too late. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll I'll bring her out. It's like wood. Like cord wood, <coughs> yeah, um, yeah. I mean, so this so burnout is here on the ship. This is back in his. Mm -hmm. Is he is he is he piloting the Odysseus? Yeah. Um, so I, I, I'll, I'll go up to the front. I mean, I, I assume that I can get into most places. You you, you have full it's clearance. Like the house, right? you, you have uh, authorized access to every every room. Yeah. Um, even your fa your father gave you access to his room. Oh well, we like that. That's a vote of confidence. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to bring this. I'm going to bring ZZ up to the, um, just up to the actual, com like the actual cockpit. Yeah, and uh, you see Burn out there smoking his actually smoking the cigar. Oh, back then. <coughs> yeah. In yeah. these days. Yeah, with his feet kicked up as the uh, Odysseus is orbiting the planet. Yeah. He says, how you doing, kid? I say, listen, we had a security breach. Huh? Yeah, there's a. I found this stowaway here. I was gonna take her down to the. I was gonna take her down to the brig. Um, I mean, oh, is she playing by the Mex again? Well, she. I was in the. I was in the sim. Yeah. Trying to get dialed in, uh, and I did have a co-pilot for a while on there. But she, she knows her way around a wrench, old man. Like. She's put. She put a couple strategic twists on there. Yeah. It's, it's running better than ever. Let me tell you, she surprises me every day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, she's gonna be great on a ship one day. So I'm gonna, I'll set her, I'll just let set her sideways so that like the armrest yeah. is the pillow, and mm -hmm. then the legs are just over yeah. the other side, just like a, like a co-pilot, <coughs> yeah, co-pilot type chair. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, just set her down, like take a. Take like one last look out the cockpit just to look down at the planet, um, and then I'll probably head back to my room. Okay. Uh, does anything happen in your room, or do you? This is, that's private, obviously. Oh, I mean, um, that's you know you're asking a lot. Uh, uh, let's see. I mean, what does happen in there? Yeah, he doesn't know anything. It's having, I mean, he he knows. It's all book learning, right? Mm-hmm. He knows lots and lots of rules <laughs> about how things are supposed to operate, but he hasn't really seen, he hasn't had the opportunity to see those rules come up against something else. Mm -hmm. And then you just hear a knock on the door. <laughs> Who is it? 
It's your mother. Oh, that's fine. Open. Doors come open and you see uh, your mother. What does she look like? What does she look like? Uh, let's see. In When I picture Hannah, uh, she has blonde hair, um, about shoulder length. Mm -hmm. um, she has uh, a pendant that you can only see the chain of um, that dips down into her... Uh, I think that she... Have you ever seen... You, have, you haven't seen Ruin You're the Robber's Daughter. No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. But it's one of the coolest moms of all time mm -hmm. uh, in Ruin You're the Robber's Daughter. And uh, her name is Lovis. And basically, like, she's just kind of a hard ass, but she keeps things together. Mm -hmm. I think she is the only one that wears the actual livery and outfit of the Odysseus. Like, I think that she actually wears the official... Yeah, the official like, jumpsuit. Like, mm -hmm. the official jumpsuit, official crew jumpsuit. Mm -hmm. Like, not the hat. Right. There has to be some concessions made. But I think, but I think the rest of the time, she is sort of, like like, iconically representative of the ship. Mm -hmm. Like, that's that's her her job is to sort of be the, like, the... She's the... The, the bulwark. Essentially the North Star, right? Every, everything. Yeah, she is, she is the shield, mm -hmm. essentially, that sort of, like, represents it. Like, they have some kind of relationship with each other, mm -hmm. the two things. Yeah. At least that's how Stavern remembers them. Absolutely. And she just so says, she still has it, but I mean, at at this time of night, she might have like loosened the over, like the pullover, yeah, portion of the, uh, of the raiment. And she goes, she looks up, looks you up and down. And she's like, and and walks in, walks into your room past past you. Right, I'm putting stuff away. Like it, it's like now now that I, she, now I, that she's porno. in now that she's in. No, no. <laughs> I, I, if she's seeing it, I can't be a situation where I no, put it I'm under joking, the bed. Joking. No, no, no. I mean, I I think that uh, perhaps another child mm. might, but no, she's here. Then I'm actually taking these things. I'm going to fold them mm -hmm. if they can be worn again. Right. Or right. Um, they will be placed in the hand. Yeah, you you're, you're making your whole space. Sanitize. Like yes, it is, exactly. It, uni like uniform. I'm making it mom ready. Yeah. Um, and she says, how you doing, soldier? <laughs> uh, I think, I think that I have it dialed in to the point where I will be able to turn the battle mech on and off and I'm really good at the part where the door opens. Um, those are the parts I was most scared of. Yeah. I was scared of it. I was scared of it starting. My guess, and you you tell me if I'm right. My guess is that once things start, I won't have a lot of time to be afraid. No, that's my, that's that's my guess. So I, 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 that's that's probably a Loganism. That's probably from. That's probably from Uncle Logan, if I think about it. Yeah. Listen. You're, you're, everything's going to switch off once you, once you drop down. And your instincts are going to come into play. I, wasn't, I never drove mechs before this. I don't know if I told you that. When I met your father no. was the first time I ever got in a mech. It was only after a couple years of being together that he, asked, he got me into one. Was it a, like a date? No, that's a that's a very sick date. <laughs> I, I, he, he really likes them. I don't know. It, he he really likes them. No, after seeing the good your father has done, I wanted to help. And the only way to get do that was to get in the cockpit. So he taught me, just like he's been teaching you, and I go down every time. What do I have to know? What don't I know? About what? What am I missing? I, I, I feel like I should know something else. About driving a mech? About being a mech warrior. Oh, you're not a mech warrior yet. 
You actually got to drop down yeah. first. <laughs> Let's wait for the title still after you yeah. get back. Yeah, I'm just I, I'm I'm gonna lay down at, at that. It's just like I I have to go to bed. Like that's that's it. Getting getting your balls busted by your mom about Max. I mean that's we've reached the we've reached the zenith. <laughs> It's time, it's time to it's it's time to go. And she, she says it's gonna be all right. You're my son. And she walks out the door. Yeah, I mean I'll think about that for a while. That's pretty good. Um, but then yeah, then we're gonna go right into the uh, the land of Nod. Yeah. Sleep, the sleep realms. And morning comes, you've got a full night's rest, and the, the, the call to, to your mech has been issued by Stavros, and it seems like everybody's rushing to the bays uh, to uh, start the drop. Okay, yeah, I mean, I, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll get my uh, official jumpsuit on. Mm-hmm. Uh, gosh. I feel like I feel like it might be a little big. My guess is that, my guess is that it's, it's going to be a little generous. In certain parts of this suit, it's just my guess. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna come down just sort of like breathing a little hard. Just with the the weight of it and the import, like with the helmet. Alongside. I'm just gonna wait for a ladder to get pulled up to my to the to the claim jumper. Yeah, and but as as that's you're the old um, Nova, right? Yeah, pouncer, pouncer. That's right. Um, as you are uh, standing there, uh, you see your uncle Logan getting up into his rifleman. Yeah. Uh, but you see Burnout walking through the bay. And he says, hey, kid, you ready? And you see him with the helmet. Oh, have I, have I, have I seen him go down? And this is, he flies this. Yeah, you, but he has, he's equipped with the helmet. That actually, God, I'm trying to figure out if that is a comfort or, I'm trying to figure out if that comforts him or if that's weird <laughs> and destabilizing, right? Like, do, do they really need, like, all hands on deck for this? It's like, he said this was a milk run with two mechs. And now he's pulling the pilot of the Odysseus into a mech? And Burnout's just standing in front of you, so yeah. you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Good. Are you ready? Absolutely. Kid, I wouldn't miss this for the world. It's the first time you're going down. Oh, it's a celebration. He he thinks it's cool. Yeah. All right. I, I say I say, keep an eye on me. You're gonna be fine, kid. I got your back, anyways. <laughs> and you see Zizi driving around in this little oh, go kart. Oh yeah, yeah. Just in the, you mean? just in the. She's just zigzagging everywhere. <clears throat> just between legs. Yeah. And she's like, "Good luck, Steph." As in in like because it's like you know just that squeaky the little tiny, voice, the tiny yeah, voice. I, I'll give her the salute. Yeah. Very firm, yeah. rigid, feet together. Yeah. All right, I say I'll, I'll see you downside. I'm gonna climb up into the, climb up into the. Hey, soldier, concert. where are you going? Well, and behind before you, before you're able to take that first step, I'm just like half. It's like it's hovering over the the yeah. plate. Your mother is standing behind you. What, mom? I'm I'm I'm, I'm doing stuff. And uh, I, gotta, I gotta get up into this before I can go down. And she just looks you up and down. She oh, tightens, oh, up your tightens, up the... tightens up your jump suit. Okay, yes, there's there's some slack. There's yeah. some there's some like I was saying some some generous pouches. And uh, she's you're gonna do great, kid. I love you. And she pushes you back up to the ladder. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go up fast. Yeah. Uh, before before I can think about it, before I can think about it anymore. I'm just gonna haul ass up this ladder <laughs> and get in there. And then I'm just gonna do everything I simmed. 
like, and then let's let's just say that this is actually how it works. Like even even when Stavron is 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 turning a mech on now, it's this very specific thing where he's like bringing up each of the screens, but it's like a specific order. Like mm-hmm. he's starting on the right. You know what I mean? Um, but it's it, it should be exactly the same ritual that he does now. It's like a pregame thing. He he like sets the cockpit up because in his regular life he's completely an agent of chaos. But when he sits down into this, he has to pass into this other. He doesn't trust who he is the rest of the time to do this job. Mm-hmm. So he is just going to feather each of these. Uh, each of these screens get everything completely dialed in, and then get ready for the get ready to get pitched out of this thing. And uh, as the neural helmet comes down uh, and gets loaded, uh, uh, turned on, you hear over the comm system Stavros's voice says, "All right, remember the plan, everyone. Stavron's plan. <laughs> we're going in. We're going to do this, and we're getting out, and we're going to celebrate." Okay, I'm going to pull up. The uh, while they're while they're doing all that, I'm just gonna pull up the uh, just the 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 list basically like the the lance that they've put together mm-hmm. and just see just like just appreciate all the names and hardware yeah and just look at all these like whole perfectly everything's at a hundred percent it's green across the board mm-hmm. like this is as good as it's going to be yep and uh what you what you notice is that um your and you've always seen this but your fathers your mothers and your uncle all have the same livery um well th- i think they're the ones that do most of the jobs yeah um and it's it's a red and white livery yeah it's it's like almost like a um a metallic yeah like a shiny red, but right? your your, your uh, pouncer is the is, old is just the old pouncer that they've that they've had uh, in cold storage, right? It just it got pulled out mm-hmm. to basically to train on, and now it's and now it's being dropped, yeah, uh, onto this planet. And also, as as you're there, you this uh, you see that uh, burnout's in a gargoyle. Or uh, excuse me, in uh, what do I got him in? Sorry, uh, Gar- burnout is in it. Oh, sorry, a timber wolf. Oh, really? Yep. Interesting. It's an old piece of equipment mm-hmm. for him. I wonder how long. I wonder how long he's been running around with that. Um, all right. Yeah, I mean, I, he has he has reached the the absolute zenith of his excitement. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can feel the Odysseus. Land bank. and the bay doors open as you see before you the ridge line uh, of where your your tactical point and landing zone is. And down into the valley, you can see a downed ship uh, in the center of a city. Yeah, and and it a, looks like it has crashed in as it was landing. Like it crashed. A trench. Yeah, it crashed over some buildings and dug a trench into the ground, uh, ramming into another uh, one of another structure. Did they so? So the job is to go and and retrieve things from inside. Get the get, get the salvage out of the. Uh, get salvage out of the out of the crashed ship, mm-hmm. um, but of course it's like being policed by whoever the yeah the local the local is. yeah yeah and and again, uh, it was just a locust and a wasp that were kind of right. doesn't seem like a heavy. And and in terms of the actual ship, like this is just a job. Yep. We don't really like. There's no, there's, they there's didn't, they're not paying them to know stuff about this. There's no political affiliations with this. It was just a communique it's that came local. through. Yep. Get our, get our ship back. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and then outside that door, does it base, does it, does it look more or less like the simulator? Yeah. Like, is it like uh, that part of the preparation work? And then and this is that tree line that we're going to be coming down into. Correct. Right? Yep. That's where we'll drop now. Perfect. External camera engaged. I see. All so right. Take a look over here. We have our 
yep. wasp in our fire moth. Yep. And you see the from the ridge line atop here, you can see down into the valley where the ship has crashed and the two mechs that you had reconned um, previously are, are on patrol. Uh, so you get to set up where up, Stavron's up, plan started. Up here along the ridge. All right, and so the central ship, so the actual uh, prize, mm -hmm. the target is over here. So it not only landed in this in this trench and then cut through it, it actually only stopped because it hit a building. Mm -hmm. Jesus, okay. So your objective is to get in um, it's going to take you uh, two mechs. Uh, using, uh, not using their actions for the turn other than moving. Um, to get to stuff. gather supplies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they basically have to forego attacks mm -hmm. in order to do what would be called a mission action, mm -hmm. right, in any other game. Okay. Well, I wonder if the right thing to do is actually just to give ourselves a ton of extra space and then come around here. I think that is it. I think we come in up here. He's gonna, Stavron's gonna go in there by his mom. We got uh, Uncle Logan mm -hmm. and uh, Hannah right here mm -hmm. uh, in the line. All right. Yeah, okay. I guess we're going, huh? Four. Ten. Ten. And you hear over the comm system, your dad, uh, Stavron, you lead the charge. <laughs> what? Okay. God, if you say so. Uh, let's see. So we're all, I'm going to move three of them before you go. Uh, what are we at? Five and, uh, you're going to move two. Okay. Then let's get our Warhammer down here. And we're going to use the natural terrain to hopefully hide these mechs a bit. There's two. Yeah, Seattle by Night coming later. Right now, it's Black Remnant. The war game, role-playing game combo platter. Okay. All right. I'll move two again. Mm -hmm. Here comes Kred. She'll rush out. I'll put her up here by Stavros. One, and then we will get the Timber Wolf. At 10 inches, he might just reach out and touch these guys as an initial interdiction. Okay. Stephen, roll me a reflex. You bet. Uh, uh, reflex for me is two base plus two, so four. <laughs> so Stavron has got omen tier. Oh no, the gargoyle? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Over so, the comm system, you hear your father. Stavron, this is your plan. Now we got to deal with it. I see two new mechs on, on my screen. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, he's not wrong either. And these are these are actually filthy. These are really nasty max too. Um, all right, so next up, the rifleman has got to finish his move. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Roll pretty, me another reflex. Pretty spooky. Uh, pretty spooky setup so far. Uh, that is 12. So you noticed um, another mech all the way across uh, the uh, field field come into come into view. You see a mist link. Oh, what mist links? Yeah. The cat, and then I also see a mech. And then uh, yeah, that's the same type of thing. Yep. Okay. Ah, jeez. You good, Stavern? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'm just, I'm just, emph I'm just emphasizing in the in the computer. I'm like trying to assign people to targets, but I'm like, is it? No, no, not that one. No, don't forget that one. And that uh, I'm just uh, basically telling everybody, like doing firing solutions for other people. Mm -hmm. Like it's not even his job. He just feels bad that he had this plan. But I mean, if they'd come over there, they'd, they'd be in the open too. All right. So is, is that everybody moved? Yeah. Okay, um, and then I you lost initiative, so they shoot first as well, right? No, you shoot first. Yeah. Oh yeah, they yeah, yeah they, these guys. Um, yeah, because I have the it's a it's a it's a family business, mm -hmm. I guess. Oh, Costa, can you go get my books in the uh, the shooting desk or in my office? Okay, uh, on the sofa. Commander's um, edition hard hardcover. Yep. Alpha Strike. Mm -hmm. All right, here so. I, I might be able to do, I may be able to clean up this wasp mm -hmm. fast using the timber wolf. Now, what are, in terms of the fam, like what are their yeah. roles? Uh, Logan and your father are, are a skill of two. Oh, really? Jumping Jesus. Uh, your mother is a, four, uh, a three and burnout is a three. Okay, and you're, then probably five? Four. Yeah, five. Let's say five. Yep. He he sucks, but we'll use his we'll use his blood hunter mm -hmm. techniques to help out. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so oh, sorry, your mother's a four, okay. and you're a and you're a five. She's she's an inner sphere four. Um, so, <laughs> um, so from here, from the timber wolf, uh, burnout is going to get this wasp dialed in. Mm -hmm. And it's long range, obviously. Uh, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Long range, not extreme. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy pants, long range. Yeah. Um, and burnout is a three, you said? A three. So okay. you've got a three. The wasp has a TM. And, uh, you're going for the wasp or the locust? Locust or wasp? Yeah, yeah, wasp. Because the wasp has no cover. Okay. Um, make sure. Okay, you, that's gonna be extreme. Okay, I, oh we, no, sorry, long range. I'm sorry. Oh no, I, we've never even seen it. What is yep. extreme range? Just uh, for my use and for the than, channel. Greater than 42 inches. Oh jeez. Okay. So um, you're at a three plus two for the TMM of the wasp. Right. Um, so five. Five. Uh, it's under cover is six, uh, or it has cover, so it's six. Does it? Oh, sorry, the wasp doesn't. Sorry, I'm thinking about. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, he he. So he'll, five. He'll get his time. And four uh, for your. Range. For range? So nine. nine. All right, let's see if we can get it. And these are my chips? Yep. No. This is no. Six. Incorrect. Incorrect. Okay. Um, but we have lots more shooting to do over here. Mm -hmm. He does not have cover from certain of our mechs. The Garg doesn't. Mm -mm. But they are super, you know, these are going to be mega long range shots here from the rifleman. Mm -hmm. Luckily, uh, Uncle Logan is spitting a two, um, which we love. So it's a two with no cover. What's the TMM of the gargoyle? Of the gargoyle? It's a two. Yeah, so, it's so four. nice, right? So four and then plus four. Eight. For the uh, long range. Mm -hmm. We're looking for an eight from Logan. No. No. Uh, 
we're going to shoot from the Warhammer, from my father's Warhammer down on this. Oh, oh here. Here. Try this. We're going to shoot from the Warhammer right over here to the Mongrel. Uh, and it's being piloted by my father, Stavros Otho, and his base is two. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're shooting at this guy. So everything else is the same except he's in cover, mm -hmm. right? So that's a shot of nine. Yep. Nine. Ho, ho, ho. We did it. Okay. okay. So 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 Stavros knows how to how to do this. There's just a chuckle yep. over the. There's yeah. just yeah. a <laughs> chuckle over the radio. Yeah. Gotta um, do everything. What was the damage? Well, the damage from the warhammer at that range is two. Two. Uh, Stavron sees uh, the energy uh, shoot from the, the Warhammer. Which is right, right, right over, over his, his head. Over right? his head, and just a surgical strike on the armor of the mongrel. Right, now the crab has no reach out and touch you from long range. Okay. Um, and the pouncer doesn't have any reach out and touch from long range either, so it is the enemy's turn. Okay, the locust and the wasp can't get anybody. Um, the mist link is gonna. Uh, the only person you can see is Stavron. Stavron. But can you give me a measurement just in yeah, case? Yeah, of course. Here go. Thirty-seven inches. There you go. So, so long. One. Okay, so four plus. Uh, what's the uh, pouncer TMM? The pouncer TMM is two. Six. Uh, you're not in cover, but 10. I need a 10. Long. Oh, Critical? Oh. What? I, I have, what, what about my plot armor? You take one, one point of damage. And a weapon hit. Ow. One point of damage and weapon hit. Negative one damage. Son of a... Um, now the gargoyle is going to shoot at, uh, right back at, uh, up on the hill, up on the hill at Logan. And that's going to be a four plus no cover. What's the TMM of the rifleman? The rifleman's TMM is one. Five plus four, nine. Uh, you just, uh, Stavron can see, uh, SRM is going Just up and across, yeah, but can't, uh, or LRM is uh, going across, but can't, uh, nothing yeah. connects. And it's all happening like over his head, basically. Mm -hmm. It's This is the worst. This, this is just as bad as he feared. And the mongrel is going to go after the warhammer. That's going to need uh, the same. And uh, just... Um, LRMs crash into the the ridge wall uh, behind your father's mech. So it's just like and you can just hear the rumbling of and sand. It's yeah, like coming, coming down, down like behind the feet. Yep. And that's it. Okay. Four. Four. Let's try it again. Yeah. Ten. Ten. Seven. Okay, All so right. I will go first. Take it away. No, Sen, it's quite cool, isn't it? It's it's a very, very fun way to spend the afternoon uh, hanging out with you and telling weird robot stories. It's pretty uncommon. All right, so he's he's scooching up. Mm -hmm. And you hear over the comm system, shake that shot off, kid. You're going to be fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it's just, it's As sand. I, I can, but it's like... But this one, this was, this was... Not from Stavros, it was from your Uncle Logan. From Logan. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying that like there's like rocks and things like hitting the mm -hmm. windshield and um are you so he moved? Yep. Now you move because okay. we have the same number of When I move, you move. Just like that. Just like that. <clears throat> okay. So the pouncer T can move ten at a jump or twelve at a run. I think he might just take this position here. Okay. To give him protection from most of these guys.
Oh, wow. Aggressive. <clears throat> yeah, Hannah's not having that. And it's not about to. She's not fucking with that shit at all. She's gonna she's gonna deal with this this moth problem. She's gonna call a service. Uh, what's next? Good question. She can handle that. But what we want to do here with the timber wolf is we just want to have oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, your camo oh, actually green. worked, right? The he's camo actually, worked. Like he's right here. I did not even and I he, completely forgot no, about that. No, he is he's doing what he's supposed to. But this he is technically inside this tree ridge, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you'd have to just be back like a here. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's the math kind of on it, but basically, yep. in this game, yep. individual trees imply a forest. Imply a forest, yeah. You, you, so you, right around that edge. Yep, okay. Um, a lot of times you can draw a triangle, um, but this is a whole ridge line. All right, perfect. Um, and they're doing what they're supposed to do. He's going to move right there and, uh, you know, observe this feast before him. Hey, this has never been easier. Oh yeah, with the no wire, mm -hmm. it's incredible. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay, Logan's going to handle the, the back. Exciting. All right, now, um, you attack first, right? Yes. Uh, the locust will attack the crab. Okay. Oh, short range. It's very short. Okay, so four plus, what's the TMM of Two. the crab? Two, six, and there's nothing else. No, you see uh, <coughs> just a uh, pulse of energy as, as the uh, side of the uh, silo gets shredded. It's it just like graffiti. Yeah. All right, cool, no, so, and you actually do all of your attacks. Yep. Right? I don't have ooh, ooh, this. He's not so good. I mean, he's maybe maybe he's got a bad shot here. Oh yeah, he does. That's right. Right up to the still medium of, range. Medium range. So four plus what's the TMM of the the TMM of a timber wolf is two. Two. So six plus cover is seven plus medium nine. We're at. Hey, you he, see he, this he put, wasp? He put one in on. Uh, cut down, you see a line of trees just get cut down. Oh, actually, uh, the wasp doesn't have a medium range. I, that was oh, a it doesn't? For nothing, yeah. So he, so he fires. Yep. Yeah, he knows it's coming. It's uh, coming in the air of the night. And then uh, the fire moth is going to go after uh, the warhammer. Mm -hmm. Or not the fire moth, the mislinks. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is going to be... Four plus, what's the Warhammer's? Uh, Warhammer's uh, one. Four, five plus open and medium range, I believe. So five, seven. No. Lucky. More, more, uh, uh, more industrial yeah, damage. Yeah, industrial damage uh, falls around uh, Stavern. 
Okay, now uh, I think the gargoyle and the mongrel probably have words mm. with Uncle Logan. Yeah. That mongrel's going to shoot. Can you give me a measurement? Is that short or medium? It's going to be close. On the mong? Yep. This is short. Okay. So, uh, one, four plus TMM of the rifleman? Mm-hmm. What is it? Oh, the TMM of the rifleman is one. Yeah, so right, five. Both, both uncle and dad are both one. Yep. Okay. Five, and there's not, uh, cover is one, so six. No. Man, they are looking out. You uh, you can um, hear your uncle screaming, that was a close one. <laughs> Stavron, you gotta you gotta uh, pick your pick your uh, places just a little better. We can't protect you all the time as the gargoyle fires into to yeah, Logan the, as yeah, well. Yeah, he's gonna double up. Um, that's gonna be a four plus one is five plus six cover medium range eight. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they're destroying their base. Yeah, trying to guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're up. Well, here it's time to time to go to work. Um, let's get set up with uh, the rifleman. I'll do this. This is for you, Josh. We're gonna go for the rifleman. Yeah, we're gonna do the rifleman here, right over here to the mongrel. Uh, so we are close range. Uh, we're gonna start at two because it's Uncle Logan. Um, I mean. Cover? Yeah, they both got cover. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so two plus one. And the TMM of the mongrel for the cover, yeah, is, is three. Is three. So that's that's the that's the factor, right? So, so six. it's six. Got it. Eleven. All right, the rifleman hits for four points at this range. Give me a crit as as uh, Logan uh, yells out, "Yeah!" Seven. Seven. That, an MP hit. As you see, uh, pieces of the mongrel's uh, leg, uh, right? Uh, Splinter out. Kind of split. Um, all right, here. So over here on this side, the two targets that we really have mm -hmm. are the wasp mm -hmm. from Burnout. Yep. So burnout here. There is the enemy wasp. Should be medium. Yep. Uh, burnout starts at three. Uh, medium, and then we just add medium range, which is two. Yep. So five, since he's not in cover, mm -hmm. it's just a base of base roll of five. Uh, TMM of the wasp. Oh, that's right. Five is two. Is two. Okay. So seven. No. Oh, didn't get it. Um, now we're going to work on these guys over here. Mm -hmm. So the Warhammer is going to fire on this Fire Moth. Um, I think fire that's a Moth? Fire, uh, uh, this that, is the Mistlink. That's Mistlinks, a Locust. Locust, okay. For some reason, I thought it was a Fire Moth right here. Um, anyway, Locust. We're going to go after the Locust. I with, mean, I love a good Fire Moth. With the Warhammer. I know that you do. Mm -hmm. I know that you do. Um, but from here, from Dad's mech, we are medium range. So base two, uh, we're in the open. Um, what is the TMM of the of the, the locus? locus is two. Okay. Oh no, three. Sorry. So two. Wasp is two. Yep. So two plus three mm -hmm. for the TMM. Yep. And then plus two for medium range. So seven. Oh yeah. Right. For um, Hannah, it's not no, long range. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh. Six. I think I might spend a chip. Yeah? Yeah. And we'll put uh, four points. As uh, as you see the locust just explode, uh, Stavron sees a shot from his father's It just gets core hammer. And it, yeah, there's literally a hole that's billowed out of the uh, central gyro of the, of the locust. Just a little chicken wobble. Yep. Um, now, what I'm trying to figure out is what is available for me in terms of this missed links. Uh, Hannah can get can. Hannah can get one. Yep. Okay, then we're going to do that. Um, Hannah is a four because she's yep. new. She's newish. Yeah. 
All right, and she has her crab, and she can overheat, which is something to consider. Uh, so here is Hannah, and there is the mist links that she is going to fire on. So medium range. Uh, we're starting at four. What's the mist links's uh, TMM? It is a three. Nice. Okay. So seven. So seven plus eight. medium range is nine, nine plus, plus cover. cover is 10. Yep. So it's it's a hefty shot. It's a good thing it didn't over, overheat. Yeah. Right, it's a gamble. Yeah, it's, a me, it's not worth putting the points in there. No. Um, okay, now, do we think that Stavron has a shot? I think you can get a shot in. Yeah. You're, you're not directly behind. Right. And the way we can do that, I, I your head to that yeah, is fine. Okay. Yep, I'm fine um, with that. All right, so this is even worse, though. I mean, I, th I think that, because he's one worse than... He's a five. He's a five, so it's a... Plus it's, three is eight, plus cover is nine. Uh, it's an 11. Yeah, right? I got to try. Yeah, absolutely. I, I get everything lined up, do all my lucky things with the monitors. Eight. Eight. All right, we, we, we tried our best. And we, you, you hear your dad over the phone, uh, over the comms. It's like... Give it another shot next time, kid. Yeah. You'll, you'll hit it. Yeah, I feel good about it. All right, you ready? Yeah. We, we don't, who, who's firing? Oh, no, it's, this is initiative. You fire first. Did I? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. Losing my mind. <laughs> Whew. I'll take it. Okay. All right, now, in this, this, this thing's cord? This thing is gone. Okay. Yeah, Jabram, they're scurred. He's lurking. Oh, uh, your, your turn. He loves to lurk. Uncle Logan's going to shimmy around the back here. I think he, I just want to, I'm trying to move him so that he can shoot at the gargoyle if I need mm -hmm. him to. Does this yeah. seem okay? I move him over a little bit. Yeah, because I have, I have some this more whole, inches. This whole thing is a tree line, so yeah, don't, don't worry more, about your I cover. have some more inches over there. Yeah. I'll scoot him over there. Yeah. Okay. What's next? Uh, that's a good question. Pouncer T is going to move back. Yeah, everyone, everyone could hear the mech uh, coming behind you. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's coming around this edge. And then Logan mm -hmm. also saw him coming around. Yep. Right, what do you got next? Wasp? Yeah. He is scurred. He's 
see the eight. Lots of lots of bad options. Mm -hmm. I have lots of bad options. Is it, is it just me? It's you. Okay. So the crab goes ten. Okay. Pervert shit. <laughs> um, the gargoyle. <clears throat> The gargoyle actually see. Well, we we know that this is. Oh, that's a good equivalent. Yeah. That. Um, but this is also a good shot. No, it's not. There. It, oh, too much, too much shit. Yeah, see how it's going oh, through. Oh, the the the, the no. ziggurat here. Mm -hmm. But it will shoot up at burnout. All right. So medium. Uh, first, let's a uh, four plus. What's the timber wolf? Two. Two six. Cover seven. And medium is two, so nine. Oh, you got him. Burnout takes uh, a direct hit uh, for whoa, three points of damage. Or wait, is this long range? Medium. Medium. Ooh, no. Is this? No, it's long. Long. Still hits, but one point of damage. One, okay. One point. Okay, who's next? Um, shit, does the mongrel, can the mongrel, I don't think the mongrel can shoot anybody. Can it get, it, he might be able to get a shot on the crab. Oh, no. No, you don't think so? No, head to head. Gotcha. I don't think, I don't think they got a shot, but. Okay. Um, it is what it is. Yeah. Oh, the wasp, or the. He can he can shoot though. Yeah, yeah. It's it's sort of an oblique angle, but he can do it. Well, I mean, the, here's what the firing arc is. Oh no, I'm just saying yeah. it's like at the extreme edge of the left. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. just mean like as an experience, mm -hmm. uh, rules wise, it's quite clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just see the the torso turn. Yeah. And the twist. Four plus. No, you're not in cover, but uh, what's the TMM on that crab? On the TMM on crab is two. Two plus medium range four six eight. Oof. The, the dice are back. Oh, never mind. I keep doing this medium range. It doesn't have medium range. Never mind. Oh, the wasp is, he likes to get up close. Yep. Okay. Um, that's, that's it for me. Is that what you got? Yeah. Okay. Well, then let's, let's put some. Fire let's down put some, Yeah, let's, let's put some, some weapons into the back of this gargoyle then. So garg, mongrel? we're going to go for the pouncer. Five. Mo into the mongrel? Yeah. So five. five. There's no cover. Is the base. No cover. Up close. Back arc. So what's the TMM of the oh but three. That's that's the key, is that the, the mongrel has a three TMM. So eight. Eight. Right? Um and then it's back arc, so I'll get bonus damage if mm -hmm. uh, it'll just make up for the crit I got earlier, right? Mm -hmm. Eight. You see. All of your salvos go through the mongrel. What? How does it just just, taken just out? like straight through the? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think I think these catch. I think these catch like the the gyro in the torso stabilizer itself, and it immediately goes. It goes beyond its engineering limits. Like it starts to turn and twist too far mm -hmm. um, as it falls forward. And as it's twisting, you just hear a point of explosion and then a cannonade throughout oh. the mongrel as you see impulses blowing up. Oh, it's, it's, and, it stores. And, yeah, all of its stores are blowing up throughout its systems. And you see the cockpit explode in a fiery crash as it goes down. And as it's falling to the ground. Just like with red? Mm -hmm. Like like a, per, a per, like the person just was crushed? 
Yeah, it's just destroyed inflamed. inside the mechanism. Yeah, and and the mongrels now collapsed in flames on the ground in front of you. I think he starts to shout. I think that I think that he mutes himself on the on the channel. And, and just starts to scream in the cockpit. But everyone else, as you do that, everyone else is cheering for you. Oh, like, no, that's, that's, that's the, it, kid. That's the worst you hear, part. You hear Uncle Logan, way to go, kid. That's the Burn worst. Out. That's the worst part. We're all here for you, son, <laughs> your dad. I couldn't be prouder. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Um, crab on wasp action. It's what you have been asking for. And we're going to give it to you. Crab on wasp. Experience it. Medium range. So four base. What's the TMM of the wasp? The TMM of the wasp is a two. Okay. So uh, we're looking at a six. We're moving into medium range. That adds an additional two. So eight. Eight. <laughs> Eleven. Mom's got it. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's new, but... She knows her way around it. Um, that is a, a burst of two points. Um, roll me a crit. I will. Ten. Ten. Fire control. All right, so it's harder to shoot. Plus two to the target number. Yes, harder. Christ, to shoot. that's really bad. All right. Um, we're gonna fire down. Mm -hmm. Or uh, burnout. Just after congratulating Stavrin, is going to let these let the pods loose on uh, the gargoyle out there. Mm -hmm. So he starts out at a three. They are at long range or medium range. Uh, it was long range. Okay. Yep. So long range. Yep. And uh, what's the TMM of the the gargoyle? Two, right? two yeah. Yeah, yeah. So three plus two is five, yeah. plus one four. for cover. Yeah, plus one for cover and plus six. So six four, and this plus ten. four, so ten, ten. Right? It's a long. It's a long shot. Yeah. Huh. If you will. Seven. Okay. I mean, I think I think that's all of our. Yep. That's our turn. And you can take that mongrel that off. mongrel off. Yeah. Eight. Well, that might be a tough one. Six. Six. Okay, you can run first. All right. We need the timber wolf to close so that uh, we can start to put dice down here. Move him over there. Just like that? Yeah. So we got a, a lynx. <laughs> Gotta run and run. Mm. Okay. Okay. Now the crab has ten inches. Oh shit. <laughs> so I think that the crab, if if I'm not if I'm smart, uh-huh. 
the crab has just got to go mm -hmm. right here. Right? Yeah. Uh, and then Stavern is next. Stavern is going to go do the mission objective because he's not shooting any more guns today. Then it's the rifleman. Yeah, he just he just he just jumps over here, and then he's like like looking down out of the cockpit just to make sure that he lands by. He just wants to be by his uncle right now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's it. Okay. You ready to shoot? Yeah. Uh, the miss link is gonna shoot first, and so it's a four plus no cover. What's TMM on that? Timberwolf. Two? Timberwolf was two. So, it's so six. nice. That's a six. Yeah, I think it's a six. That's a Ooh, hit. That's a hit for two points of damage. Okay. Timberwolf, pretty tough. The gargoyle is now going to shoot. So yeah, four he's clean. plus two, six plus medium range is eight. Got Ooh. it. The gargoyle fires in for another three. Man, they're pounding the Timberwolf. Okay, and, and I'm the wasp. Done. Wasp can't can't shoot anybody. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and fire from the rifleman mm -hmm. into the wasp. Yeah, sure. So medium range. Yep. Wasp is. Uh, I start at two. Uh, two for Logan. Wasp has a TMM of two, so okay. four uh, plus medium. Plus medium is eight, or no, no, medium is two. Yeah. Sorry. So six. Six. Got it. Nine. All right. And the Warhammer hits for four at that range. Uh, the Rifleman? Rifleman, excuse me. Rifleman also hits for four at that range. Great. You see the Wasp. I like that they're both, honestly, it's really cool that you chose those two mechs for yeah. them. Just because they're like similar in. I, the Rifleman's the little brother. Yeah, right? They're similar in vibe. Essentially. But they have a, but the silhouette, it mm -hmm. communicates it. Anyway, so that's four points on the Wasp, which and I you, assume you is just, You just see the Wasp uh, explode like fireworks. It just um, crackles yeah. and pops. All right, now, so he was able to do that. Mm -hmm. And we can, do you think that this can shoot? Yeah. Okay, then the Warhammer is going to fire on the Lynx, mm -hmm. the Miss Lynx. That's going to be a long range, I think. Or no, medium. 24, medium. If you can believe it. Yeah, that's great. Uh, medium range. Yep. So we're starting at two because two? it's Stavros. Yep. The and Miss Lynx is three, so five. So five. Yep. And then plus two for medium range is seven. Yep. Since they're both in the open. Seven. How many points? That is four points. And you see the Miss Lynx just explode as it well. Just, it just implodes. Yeah. Just, <laughs> issue with the pressure system. Yep. Okay. So they're, they're, they're cleaning up over here. Uh, that's in my front arc. For the crab. Oh, totally. Right? Yep. So let's go ahead and use the crab instead at the medium range. Um, so we start at four. The gargoyle's TMM is two. So it's six. Plus medium range is eight. Yep. No. Absolutely nope. not. Okay. Um, and then the timber wolf, mm -hmm. the gargoyle it should be in my front arc. Mm -hmm. So we got to fire on that. Uh, burnout is starts at three. Three. Uh, the gargoyle's TMM two. is two. Five. So five. Six for cover. Six for cover. Two for medium range. Yep. Eight. Eight. No. No. Okay. And we're back to the top again. All right. Here we go. You can you can get a lot of storytelling done in this game very mm -hmm. fast for eight. Okay. So we'll start. I'll move. Mm -hmm. What two? All right, everybody collect up. Uh, we're gonna, this mission's over. We're cleaning up. This is the, it's the mop up? Yeah. Oh, here, it's a yep. mech for you. Oh, yeah. See the gargoyle go here. OK, 
Okay. And you can hear Stavros over the comms. And he says, to the gargoyle, it ain't your shit, buddy. It ain't your shit. It ain't your job to get killed today. Mm -hmm. And they are not going to fire on him unless he fires on them. Okay. Um, as that happens, you see the gargoyle kind of just run off into the distance. Yeah. <clears throat> so he, uh, Stavron and Hannah are basically uh, foregoing all their their you know belligerent actions mm -hmm. to get this equipment out of this ship and get it back to their ship. So it might be a, a good drop position might be over here for the uh, Odysseus just, just to get things in there fast. Yep. And uh, I'm, and I, I'm just in there, I'm, I'm punching the, I haven't turned the mute back on. Mm -hmm. I've, I've just I've punched in the specific coordinates so that uh, they know where to bring in the, mm -hmm. the Odysseus. Yep. And the Odysseus comes, everything can be easily loaded onto the ship and all the mechs are returned to the bay. And we'll return. Here's chips. Thanks, man. And uh, man, that was really stressful. You're inside the bay now, and you see you're still yeah, in your cockpit. Yeah, 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 it's just it's in there. I'm, it's just it's, it's getting hooked in, like all the basic power stuff, like all the regular stuff that mm -hmm. that Rashan and Zigzag do in the Calypso now. Mm -hmm. Is 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 just being done by other members of the, yeah, and you see of the company. Every, your uncle and your mother and burnout, and your father getting out of their mechs. Yeah, I think he's not getting out of the mech. Okay. I think that I think he's I think he's not getting out of the mech, and like some of, and some of the base systems aren't on, because we're like you're in the cockpit now, and so. It's just like starting to steam up inside, like it's just starting to. St the windows are starting to steam up inside the mm -hmm. the mech, um, and you hear an, an as as the windows are steamed. You can't really see outside the cockpit at this point, but you hear a knocking on your cockpit uh, hull. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll pull the I'll pull the release. And you, the the cockpit opens up, and you see your father uh, standing there. It's a like, great job, kid. Wait, what's wrong? So I saw when the and he's just like trying to show it, like with his hand. He's like trying to put the bad idea into his body somewhere mm -hmm. so that he can own, take ownership of it. And he's like, I saw the cockpit. I saw the cockpit turn around, Dad. I saw it spin around and I saw what I saw what happened inside it. Is that is that our job? Is that what we do? I always heard that you were out here doing great things. Son, it's a it's it's a fine line between being a monster and a hero. Whose ship was that? I don't know. We had a contract. And I'm not going to tell you that this isn't going to happen again. But think about it. Was it worth it? Yes. We did what we had to do. And they were fighting us. If you don't think I don't go to bed at night remembering every single person that I've taken down, I do. But it gets easier with time. So you're not, you're not telling me to forget it? No. You remember those who fell. And just honor them in your own way. What if it's... What if next time it's mom down here? Like it may what be. If, what if it's you? It may be. But that's the price I'm willing to, and chance I'm willing to take. 
For sea bills? No, for my family. This is how we survive in the sphere. I want to know more about it. If I'm going to do this, I want you to teach me everything. I mean all of it. Kid, I wouldn't be leaving this to you if I wasn't. You will one day be in control of everything, this entire organization. And by God, you're going to be prepared. I... I want to be there when we're getting the jobs. Yeah. Put it in writing. Why would you need something in writing from me? I just want to know my relationship. Can Logan do these deals? No. I just want to know that there's something underneath all this, just a few sentences that make this make sense. Is that, is that wrong? So you just want me to scribble on a piece of paper that you're getting it all? I mean, hell, if that's all it is, I don't mind doing no. that. No, I don't want it if I can't run it the way that you ran it. But I want to know that I'm doing these things, and I want to know why. And I want to have a say in what type of jobs we do. You'll have a say. I get the last call. I'll, I'll reach out and shake his hand. And he pulls you out of the mech and just tugs you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trick because he's Stavrin is trying to keep it. He's trying to keep it orderly. Mm -hmm. And at, at that point, like if he's if he's going to grab me and pull me out, then I can't do the act anymore. Like Stavrin just melts down. Yeah, and he and Stavrin just, just he just melts down. You. He actually really brings you in for a an embrace, and he's just like, I'm proud of you. But I won't tell you this is going to get easier. No, I don't think it is. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll follow him out after the, I'll follow him out. And the memory kind of fades to black and you're back on the Calypso looking up at ZigZag. And that's where we'll end today. Nice. <laughs> Dude, that was a cool episode. Mm. Yeah, that was a cool episode. Hey, now do you got, do you got any force oh, packs? Oh, yeah. Go pull a force pack out. So, or two, yeah, we grab two so you can see which ones are going up. Uh, Admiral Sin, I'm so glad that you enjoyed it. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, Jibber, I mean, you have to understand is that his is that Stavron's parents it kept him quite sheltered, he thought that it was all really fun and cool. <laughs> um, and he had an opportunity to see why that might not always be the case. and. He's going to be able to parlay that into support for his own crew. Now, uh, but I've got super, super cool news here. Now, here, now, can you get a, a handsome shot yes. of these bad boys? Here, it might, it just might give you more space. Yeah. Put them wherever you Yeah. Just put them somewhere and I'll get a shot. Oh, see, God, you know what? These are actually the ones that I want. Uh-oh. Okay, I'll take those back then and put them in the... No, 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 I'm not, even, I'm not even mad. I'm saying that these are the ones that I myself am looking at. Um, just because for Black Remnant, like as we expand out, I just, I want to have a couple other heavy options, right? And so that's why um, the Heavy Battle Lance has got a bunch, it has a Night Star, Cataphract, Axeman, and Bushwhacker. And the main thing is that there's a melee, there's a melee mech in there. Mm -hmm. And because without a weapon, melee... <laughs> Like, melee in the game is like taking your life into your own hands. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, if it's a little bit better if you have uh, the actual equipment. And then the other one has a, has a victor, an enforcer, a hunchback, and a raven. 
Oh, see, and you gotta love the Hunchback. If you haven't seen, uh, if you haven't seen uh, Black Pants Legion's Hunchback documentary, it's like two hours long. It is, it is one of the best YouTube videos I've ever seen in my life. But anyway, now, George, I am told that you have a powerful technology that will allow you to summon a victor from this very chat. Is that true? Now, what's required of these creatures? Do they just need to interact? Yeah. All right, now, teens, interact. Uh, type things, type, type, your, type your most precious dreams. Type in things that you think are succulent. Yes, thank you very much, Jaborum. Get active in chat, as they say. Yeah, just say something in there so that Nightbot can choose someone who likes mechs and they can have them. And if that were not enough, Gathered Throng, if that were not enough, uh, there is another chance to get your myths um, on the on the other pack, whichever one it ends up being, um, just by uh, interacting there uh, over on the Yub Tub uh, when uh, Black Remnant episodes go up there, those who merely comment can be rewarded. It's a beautiful thing. It's incredible. Uh, you can have it. Yes, Mark. That's exactly right. In the uh, in the Urban Lance, there is in fact a Raven. There's a bunch of, ooh, ah, it's very, very nice. Um, but anyway, um, as Eric and I have been saying, so you might've had a chance to see, uh, you know, a pretty significant round of Alpha Strike there. Between this and Destiny, Black Remnant sort of shows how you can combine kind of intense role-playing in the inner sphere, mm -hmm. along with a really fun, slick, uh, stripped-down war game rules that still have some teeth in there. Especially in Alpha Strike, a lot of the real complexity comes down to some of the wild keywords mm -hmm. mechs can have. But there is a lot going on, especially once you start talking about scenario play. Um, but the individual cards, of course, come with these, and they have everything you need on there. Um, but so what do we think? Did it, does, it, does it know who wants it? Does it know who win? <gasps> Hida, wow. What a delight. Uh, well, savor that, of course. Uh, and then, like I say, when the episode hits uh, the YouTube channel, rigged, <laughs> when, the, when the episode <laughs> hits the YouTube channel, uh, commenters there also also uh, derive tender rewards. Uh, so that's something to enjoy as well. Um, but hey, uh, until next time, see you next Tuesday. Uh, we'll have our good uh, friend Francisco Kiko Villasenor. Uh, we will get back into the, the modern era. We'll figure out what the, uh, the fallout is with Kenji. Uh, we'll make sure that ZigZag is receiving the care that she requires. Uh, hopefully, having pulled this ancient wisdom from his past, uh, Severn might have some of the emotional sophistication required mm -hmm. uh, to accomplish this feat. Um, but hey, uh, it's been an absolute pleasure uh, spending this time with you yet again. See you next Tuesday, um, and we'll see you next time.